What is up, guys? Your Doomsday here, and today we are back again, and we are starting a new series where we're going to be watching other people's gameplay, and pretty much talking about what they could have done better and what I would have done in their place. So in this match, we're going to be watching a Tier 6 Silver Reza top lane, and we'll see how this goes. I have not watched this yet, so this is my first time watching it, and I am always looking for gameplay for this series if anybody wants to send it to me. You can either follow me on Twitter, Your Doomsday Zero, or on Discord, which my tag is Your Doomsday Zero, and the number is 6100. So, this dude's actually playing Joystick. <coughs> and I've seen a lot of newer people start with Joystick. Because I think that's what they set you to default on. But honestly, I think Touch, touch is just so much more like clean, and it's just easier to use. And it's more efficient, in my opinion. I'm not exactly sure how the joystick system works. Like, I don't know how you do the targeting and stuff. But let's go ahead and get started with the gameplay. So he chose to start with healer, which is alright. The thing is that he used both of his charges to clear the healer. You always want to use one of them at least. Because that way... <coughs> Jeez. It's more efficient that way. But I normally don't like to use both of them. So now, he does a good job of getting vision control. That's good. And now he can go and grab this farm. See, he shouldn't have used that dash there. It's really, really important to save your dashes on Reza, since if he had both of his dashes right now, he could easily go in for a trade. Especially at level 2, Reza's super duper strong ex and can out-trade a Ringo at level 2. So if he just lands, he should just land his A ability and then go in with his B ability. And he can easily out-trade him. Like, whenever you land your A ability, you always want to go in. That flask was kind of unnecessary. He's already at full health. It's kind of pointless. But, like, now's a good chance to go in, so that was a good trade. That was a mistake, though. He shouldn't have used boat charges there. Since what you want to do on Reza, pretty much, is just burst him and then leave him and try and only use an A ability and a B ability. Since if you use one A ability, and then you just use your B in, do one auto attack, or two auto attacks or so, and then run away, then like, four seconds later, you could do the same thing again once you get your A off cooldown. But if you use both of your B ability charges, one, you leave yourself kind of like, defenseless, since if you get ganked, you don't really have an escape, and two, you can't engage for a while until you get another B ability off cooldown. So over here, you can't really do anything because he's underneath turret. It's best to go ahead and get vision just like that. That's good. And he can play aggressive. Like, this is fine. Just because um, he's Reza, he has dashes to get out. I believe Fortress is their jungler, so if Fortress does show up, he'll still be fine because he could just dash out. And whenever clearing, you always do want to use your A ability because it'll make your clear so much faster. So this is taking so much longer than it should be. He's missing minions because of this. And now the wave is going to push underneath his turret. So he's waiting way too long to use his A ability. He should have used his A ability right away. If he would have started off with his A ability, he could have gotten it off again in that time period when Ringo was running away and probably could have gotten the kill. Or at least forced a flask or something. So he should have like A'd first and then you beat in and then just kept on autoing him until he gets his A off cooldown again and then use your B ability again to catch up to him if you do fall behind. Also, one thing I've noticed is last hitting, like definitely need to work on that. If you're a good last hitter, you can reach like tier 10 like no matter how bad you are pretty much. Like, that's the biggest difference that I find just between, like, tiers is just, like, how good you are at last hitting. Like, if you can effectively last hit, you can get so much more gold. Like, you should probably be at, like, close to 2,000 gold by now. Or somewhere around that range. And another thing that you do want to keep track of is shopping. So, Ringo has already shopped... You have not. So you know that Ringo has boots right now. You don't really have any boots or anything yet. You can still out trade them, but you just have to keep in mind that they have boots and stuff. So it's going to be hard to get a kill now. 
Instead, you just want to try and bait out the boots first and then go for the kill. So right now, Ringo's missing. Could be taking the healer right now or weapon power buff. Or rotating. Those are pretty much the three things that Ringo could be doing. Since Ringo's full health, there's really like no point in recalling. So it's unlikely that the Ringo did recall. I'm assuming Ringo's on the healer. He doesn't have a cam, but you do see that Fortress is in bot lane right now. So if Ringo does show up, you can definitely play aggressive. So over here, he's getting a recall in, getting the shop. That's good. So now that Reza's advancing level 6, that's pretty much his power spike. Since with his ult, he can 1v1 anybody, like, for sure. And he can pretty much demolish a Ringo. <coughs> mm, so over here, I don't necessarily agree with this. He's going for the CP buff. He doesn't have a banner or storm crown, though, so... And it's going to take forever to take this. And in the process, he's missing so many minions, like... This blue buff is worth about, like, probably, it's, I think it's 80 gold, so that's, like, 2 to 3 minions. And look at where his minion wave is right now. It's underneath the turret, so he's losing so much farm. So overall, really, he's losing more gold than he's gaining by doing that. But he actually should be able to get this kill with his ult. There's the boots from Ringo, so he doesn't have that. And he should be able to grab that. That was good. That was a good kill. So that turned out to go pretty well, just because he got a kill. And he still has his own boots up. So over here, yeah, he can't really do too much. If he plays around his A ability, see, like, that's what you want to do. Land your A ability, use one B ability, and then just back up, and then wait for your cooldowns again. Since with most CP heroes, your damage is not in your auto attacks, it's all in your abilities and your burst. So once you use your abilities, you have almost no damage at all. And, yeah, he should be fine to back up here. He was actually pretty close to getting that kill, but Fortress still had Flask, actually, so... He probably would not have been able to get that. So he is approaching his Spellfire. By this point, if he was farming well, he should for sure have a Spellfire. Since he did get a kill, too, so... This is a bad decision, though. He's given up farm for the healer. He missed like two or three minions. And think about it in like gold wise. The healer is worth like um probably let's see how much it's worth. I think 60 maybe? 50. So 50 plus a small thing, that's like 75 or so. And three minions is worth way more gold than that. And you can always grab the healer later. So yeah. He can push this in now. If he does want to push this in, he should probably get vision control afterwards and then try and invade their jungle or something. So over here, he's walking back towards shop. I mean, that's an alright choice, but you can't really buy much, just one crystal bit. With Catherine here, they might be able to dive him, actually. Yeah, you should not do that ult with Catherine. That's not exactly the best. It's good that Rez is looking to land an A ability. Ooh, I just noticed. He maxed out his B ability first. You do not want to do that on Reza. On Reza, you definitely want to max out your A since it gives you more range, so it's so easy to land your A ability. Like over here, yikes, that was not a good B ability. He should have used that to get away, not to engage. So with Reza, you always want to max your A because that gives you, I think, two extra tile range. So it's so much easier to land your A ability. And if you land your A ability, that's where all your damage comes from, so that's why that's so important. And one mistake that I've noticed him making a lot is that he's using his B ability for damage. With Reza, um, none of your damage comes from your, B ability, from your B ability. Like, your B ability does such little damage, it's pretty much irrelevant. Instead, you use it for the mobility and for the escape and engage. So you pretty much want to save him until... Like, now is a good time to use it, to go in. That was really, really a good engage by him. That was perfect, pretty much.
So now, yeah, he can't really get that. Um, whoa, why is this black feather still here? What the? Um, yeah, so, if he would have maxed out his A, it probably would have made it easier. But since he didn't, you could still make it work, but... See, this is a really, really bad choice, actually. Yep, that's exactly why it's a bad choice. I think that black feather was AFK for a second, too. Because diving underneath the turret is kind of... It's not always the best choice. Also, black feather could have easily outplayed him. For example, if he had an ult charge or something like that, or if he had his... Or, well, he did land his B ability, but it wasn't enough. So if he had an ult, he would have been able to live that, and that would have been bad. And the reason why you don't want to die in the mid-game with Reza is because that's Reza's strongest phase. Early in mid-game is where Reza's, like, OP. But then once you reach late-game, you kind of start to fall off. So if you die mid-game, you give the enemy more gold, so that lets them get their items faster. And then that pretty much makes you, like, weaker. Because once everybody gets items, you don't do as much late game. So over here, he has his ult. I would definitely be looking to um, push this in and then dive the Ringo. I'd want to bait out the boots first and flask before using my ult. So over here, Ringo ult. Kind of not really doing too much. But right now, I'd definitely go up to the Ringo. Because you see that fortress is bot lane. You could chunk him like that. And where is the flask on? Okay, his flask is on cooldown, I think. Oh, there's the flask. It's underneath the cam. Okay, so. He should have gone up to the... Oh my god, he's going to die from this. <laughs> Holy crap. So, if you didn't see, the Ringo was actually tanking all the minion shots, so it, was actually so it was actually taking a lot of damage. So if he would have fought him then... And he needs to be way quicker too, that's one of the things. Whenever he goes in and stuff, he's kind of slow. So like, you want to go in, use a B ability, and then run away like as fast as you can. Because the longer it goes on, the more Ringo will win pretty much, since... Ringo has consistent damage with their auto attacks. You don't. Uh, see, like right over there, you shouldn't be using your B ability for damage. That's a waste, pretty much. You'd just want to save him up for mobility. Because that did, like, no damage at all. All it did was apply the spell fire, which doesn't do too much. So over here, what I'd do is push up top lane... And then when you push top lane, you know that Ringo's going to have to rotate to save her turret, or his turret, isn't it? So, you could contest Ringo when he's trying to rotate. And that's what I'd go for here. Because you still have your ult. And now you have flask up, and you're still really, really strong right now. So again, he's missing a lot of farm for this. That's a mistake. I'm assuming a lot of people actually make that mistake. They, like, prioritize, like, buffs and healers and stuff over farm. But the thing is, farm is so important. It's so underrated, really. I mean, it's the most important aspect of the game. If you're a good farmer, you're pretty much good at the game. Because that's how you get gold and that's how you get items and everything. Like, by now, he should have... About two items. And he should be close to his third. Soon. So if he is clear in the vision. I probably would help the jewel. Just in case they can test the jewel. Yep. That's good. And now if they want to back out. Oh well that Arden just. <laughs> went in for death sentence. So that was kind of bad on their part. They kind of just face checked the bush. You do want to have vision when you know there's a bunch of enemies around. But like in a case like that, what I would do is... I'd save my B abilities. Like he used it to damage the Arden. I would like ult onto the Celeste 
or use my B ability to get onto the Celeste, and then ult, and then once the Celeste boots away, I'd use my other B charge to catch back up. So the the Rizzo's have actually been building pretty well. Like, this is the right itemization at least, so that's good. Over here, that was a good kill. But now he can't really do too much, since he's out of energy. Without energy, again, you have like no damage at all, because you don't have your abilities. So I'd definitely back off. Yeah, this is a mistake right here. You can't really do much over here because when the enemy gets low, once you do get him low, they're just going to back up to turret and then you can't really dive him since there's a turret right there. So it's kind of just a waste of time. Instead, it would be better to go and get the farm in top lane or go and grab the enemy healer or their jungle or something. Like, I'm assuming that their CP buffs and their back doubles are both up right now. So that would be so much better to go and get. And that's good that their jewel actually sold the ghost ring. That was... Really, really good by him. See, like, they could just go in and then just back off to turret. Instead, if you're going to fight, you want to fight further away from the enemy turret. If they kite back, then that will be fine. Their jewel can actually carry this fight. He's pretty fed. No, that's kind of a battle by him. But again, Reza still has no energy, so he can't really do anything. It's best to just leave and then come back. Oh yeah, that jewel is about to like 1v5 him. <laughs> that was good. So now, he, do need, he does need to keep an eye on his top lane. Since that's about to push the next turret. It looks like Idris is grabbing that for him. He also needs to shop sometime soon. He does have a quite a good amount of gold. Yes, yeah, so just look at how much CS they're missing. I'm willing to bet that if this person works on CS, they could reach like tier 8 easily. Just jump from tier 6 to tier 8 just by getting better at last hitting. Oh, it looks like they're doing Black Claw, Black Claw too. So now they are going to have a good push with this. Reza should definitely look to just burst down one target. Either wait for your wait to dive with your jewel or wait for them to dive your saw. Those are your two options pretty much. Oh, that's a really, really good gauntlet by... Yeah, that's kind of just bad on their part. Oh my gosh, he barely lived that. He might still die from the mortal wound. Nope, he's actually fine. So, as I was saying, with Reza, you don't really want to dive in on your own. Because then the entire enemy team can focus you. But if, like, both you and Jewel go in... They're going to split focus you, meaning that half the team is going to attack the jewel and like the other half is going to attack you. So that makes it so much easier to kill one target and to stay alive. And that's the biggest mistake that I actually see like higher tier players make too. They just dive in 1v5 by themselves. But if entire teams are coordinated, that's so much easier. Or he could just wait for them to dive, and when they all group up, just ult them. Yep, just like that. Your ult is super duper strong in the mid game. That's why I've been saying, like, level 6 is your power spike. As soon as you get your ult, you do so much damage. It's pretty insane. Like, in the laning phase, he could have just demolished Ringo if he would have been more aggressive with his ult. So this is kind of... A weird spot that they're in. Like, if they're going to be here, you either want to get the armory and get out as fast as you can. Or just back out. Because they can't really do much. And the vein turret thing is just going to keep on focusing them. And that was a really, oh my god, that Ringo ult was amazing. So that's good now. They got the, they got the armory and they got out. 
Because instead of just trading in there, because they're all going to respawn there. When they get low, they can go and regen health. It's just not a good f spot to fight in, really. But since they had two down, that was all right. Now that one of their jewels dead, so this is really, really risky. If they do have vision on this, this could be a throw, but it looks like they do not have vision on it. Okay, that's, he does have to watch out. They could still kill him. He's <laughs> like one shot. So a really cool thing about Jewel actually is that Jewel can actually solo all these objectives. So, like, if Jewel was alive, he could have just soloed the Ghostwing. And that's what he did earlier. He soloed the Ghostwing and the Black Claw, which really, really helped out his team. Now, this, I do not agree with a Dragon's Eye. I don't really think Dragon's Eye is good on Reza, or on almost any hero Dragon's Eye is bad. It just takes way too long to gain stacks. And it's not efficient at all. Instead, it's better to just... Go for like an Eve or Clockwork or another Shatter Glass. Those are your best three options right there. Or to get double defense. That's another really, really common choice. Oh, yikes. Yeah, that was kind of bad. He didn't really have good vision of the area. He probably could have still gotten away if he would have used his ult and both of his B abilities. But like I was saying, he... Wasn't really fast with it, and holy crap, that jewel is demolishing them. Ooh, is he gonna get a penta? Holy crap, that jewel be ability just like that literally took out half of that Celeste's health. That dude's popping off. So, yeah, I don't know what their team is doing. They could end right here, they should be able to end, hopefully. But yeah, I, th I think that's game, so that's going to be about it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share with your friends. And if you guys have some gameplay for me, make sure to send it to me so I can do some more of these videos. And thanks for watching. These are the builds, and see you guys next time.